If you're not selling your products online, then you're already falling behind. In the fastest growing segment of the retail market, which now serves all the entrepreneurs from legacy brands to online startups, you need to get in now. Hey everyone, this is Matt and I'm going to assist you today on building your e-commerce team for your startup, which will help you rule on the digital marketplace. Remember, a ship is safe in harbor, but that's not what ships are for. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel or follow me. I want you to avoid all the startup mistakes and build your business on a strong foundation. You don't want to miss my videos. Before starting on e-commerce, let me know how many of you have tried doing it in the past. Did you get any success? or didn't work out too well for you. Let's see what common problems you've got in the e-commerce field and I'll try to solve those problems for you. Many of you might already know how powerful e-commerce is. Though you might think it's already saturated, I firmly believe it's just a starting. With the big companies like Apple, Google and Amazon jumping in on the digital payment space, you can only imagine how big it's going to be. But most people are stuck and have no idea how these things work. They're not starting because they seem a lot of things to do to launch your business online. Website building, social media ads, sales order processing, order fulfillment, shipping are just a few to name. To make things work, you need to have a strong team before launching an e-commerce brand. An excellent e-commerce team never settles. You need to have a team that needs to have a desire to drive to the next level, know what that level is and break through their goals. This is really important because you can't expect good results with a bad team. Here are the key roles you need to fill while building a capable e-commerce team. Like any other business, e-commerce also needs an administrator. This person is responsible for overseeing the entire e-commerce operation and making sure that everything is going right. Tasks for the administrator include overseeing buying, contracts, managing partnerships, reporting, making strategy and fixing a niche, and so on. If you're just starting out and don't have a big budget to hire many people in a different section, you can act as an administrator and also help on the additional core tasks to save some money. Once you're settled, you can rather than seeking other people all the time. Customers are king and you need to treat them like one. Remember, you're not the one who is buying your product. The system which you see simple can be confusing a lot of people. Your team should be there to solve each and every question of your customers. Remember the code. A confused mind always says no, so you need an excellent customer service team so that people clear their confusion and proceed to pull out their credit card and pay you. So, you now have a great administrator and customer service to guide people to buy from you. When they buy, they need to make the buying experience pleasant. Again, people buy emotionally and keep that emotion alive unless they receive your product. To keep that excited, have great packaging, make it look beautiful and make the unboxing experience worth all the waiting time. If the product takes longer to be shipped, Give them a tracking code with a receipt. This way they can see where their orders are. This is the lifeline of any online business. If you can't drive leads to your websites, then you don't have a business. You should carefully select a digital marketing team who understand your company's objectives and also the ethics. Remember, your mission and your core values should be represented in your every sales message and marketing campaign out there. People buy from the brand where they can relate themselves. For example, if you're selling vegan products, make sure you express your love and affection to animals on your ad copy with that people start to resonate with your brand and be happy to buy from someone who shares the same value as them. Remember the big brands advertisements. They usually represent what they are the most and you should do the same. Your web page is like a leaky bucket. Every single flow on the website leads to a leakage of a leak. You need to fill all those pores with good developers and designers in your team. Do you hang out in a restaurant which does not seem hygienic? where things are messed around and nothing seems to be in place. Same goes with a website. Nobody is going to buy online unless they're fully convinced that you're legit. You need a beautifully designed website where the people browsing can quickly jump into and buy what they're looking for. Make it simple, make it easy to navigate, otherwise your drop rate will be tremendous. You should try to keep all things in one place and display every product to the customer. The attention span on the internet is very short and you might be leaving tons of money on the table if you can't hold the hand of a customer, lead them to what they're looking for and make the checkout smooth. These are the steps which can help you build the right team for your e-commerce business. Since you now have an idea on how to create a group, make sure you spend your time on more research on these and find the right people for the job. 
Building a right team takes time and can be a headache, but if you find it once, it can make your company to the next level. Comment below and let me know which one do you think is the most important position in an e-commerce company. The position which determines the company's success. If you guys do that, I can assist you in clearing those concepts so that you can go there and hire the right people for your business. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to Analytics of Life and don't forget to press the bell icon. Never miss another update or a new video.